In that committee, Janet Yellen gave a lot of statements. And depending on what you think she's actually going to do, this is one of the statements that came about. I'll, I'll read this, this first one yellow first. Yellen, nominated by U.S. President-elect Joe Biden to head the Treasury, said she would consider a proposal to boost government revenues. The, the remark was made during her confirmation hearing on Tuesday and raised eyebrows among some senators and Wall Street investors, according to the news report. And what she said is that she would consider, that's right here, she would consider taxing unrealized capital gains. Why is that so dangerous? Why is that such a, a bad uh, piece of, of information? Well, unrealized, not realized, unrealized capital gains refers to the theoretical increase in value of assets that an investor holds on to. The gains are only realized when the investor sells the asset at a price higher than what was initially paid to buy it. So right now, I believe that Maybe you, maybe a lot of you, are sitting on a lot of unrealized capital gains. Maybe you took my advice, not financial advice, but this is what I did, uh, and bought up some Voyager when I recommended it at 29 cents and I went to a dollar. So right there you've got some, and if you didn't sell it, that, that is unrealized capital gains. So usually you get taxed on that when you sell it, and those are called realized tax uh, capital gains. But everything in your portfolio, whether that be Bitcoin, whether that be Voyager, whether that be Cardano, whether it be Ethereum or Tomato Coin or whatever else you got, or any kind of stock that you have, or any kind of artwork that is hanging in your house that has appreciated, those are all unrealized capital gains. So what does that mean? That means that the government can say, tell us everything that you have, and we're going to tax you on it. It doesn't matter if you sold it or not. Hopefully you got some money. So... If you just happen to, you know, come across a Monet painting or something very nice, a Picasso, and, uh, you know, some crazy, you know, uh, yard sale, and you say, oh, look, it's a Picasso, and uh, you buy it for five bucks and it's worth $20 million. Well, you own the government a lot because they're unrealized capital gains. It's in your possession, and they're going to say, well, give us our money. I don't have the money because I haven't sold it. Well, too bad because we passed it, and that is what is going on. So this was... One comment made in a litany of comments uh, that was done before uh, the House. And I think if this comes through, this could really destroy everything. Because it wouldn't just destroy that small piece of cryptocurrency. It would also destroy any kind of investment, any kind of ideal to start a small business, Anybody who wants to do an IPO, anybody, just any investor, like you wouldn't want to be an investor. Like, well, this is stupid. Why would I do this? And uh, I don't know why this would ever go through. I would hope that with Yellen sitting down with uh, people like a Gensler, like a bar, like people in her office, and they would say, this is a really bad idea. If you want to tax somebody, then you can tax them. And like Char I was watching Charles Hoskinson's live, live AMA and he said, look, we can have a debate about where those levels are. Is it 36%? Is it 38%? Is it 42%? You know, how much are you going to tax somebody? Is it, is it 18%? You can have that discussion. And that's for, you know, Congress and Senate, or Congress to just to really, you know, uh, wash through. But if you're going to sit here and go, you know what, we're going to tax every unrealized capital gain, that is never going to happen. It is never going to be good. And this was a quick article. Oak Trees, Howard Marks pretty much just said, he's a, of course he's a billionaire. He doesn't want to get, he doesn't want to get taxed on that. Uh, he's like, that's a very dumb, that's a very dumb thing. So again, uh, I don't see how this could possibly go through, but this is just one comment that she made. This isn't even been uh, put forth into uh, any part of a uh, of the legislation department who actually passes a bill. It's just something that uh, she was said is that she would consider it. So I'm going to take a cue from Charles there and say, if you have the time and you really think that this is a very bad thing, such as myself, write your congressman, write your senator and say, if you do this, this will destroy businesses, this will destroy investors, and this will destroy the fabric of our country if you move this forward. I will be doing the same thing.
And uh, that is what we got. So as a reminder, again, thanks for the trader tax for <laughs> making it uh, actually easy to and actually save on our taxes. Uh, go ahead and take a look at that in the description below. And that is it for today. So hopefully that helps out, kind of eases some of your fears. Again, with, with the yelling, remember, it's just a comment. It's a comment. And I think it's, a, I mean, how many of us have made some stupid comment? And I don't think that uh, once she talks to people that really can hash it out, how would that really go through? That would destroy everything. But, uh, you know, it is one of those things. Be proactive instead of reactive. Write to your congressman, write to your senator, and take action. All right, so thanks for watching. It's really pretty, it's a little long, but uh, a lot of information out there. And I just appreciate you guys uh, just uh, sticking with me to the very end. So thanks so much. And uh, I will still be doing those exit strategies for all everything in my portfolio, that 80-20P rule. And I uh, will get that out tonight uh, as soon as possible. So thanks so much. See you on the next one.